Is time travel possible? Time travel is the concept of movement between certain points in time, analogous to movement between different points in space by an object or a person, typically with the use of a hypothetical device known as a time machine. Time travel is a widely recognized concept in philosophy and fiction, particularly science fiction. The idea of a time machine was popularized by H. G. Wells' 1895 novel The Time Machine. Want to know more? Let's start now. Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. So let's go. But before start don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe and turn all notification on to watch all other amazing stories. So let's go. Is time travel possible? Short answer. Yes, and you're doing it right now hurtling into the future at the impressive rate of one second per second. You're pretty much always moving through time at the same speed, whether you're watching paint dry or wishing you had more hours to visit with a friend from out of town. But this isn't the kind of time travel that's captivated countless science fiction writers, or spurred a genre so extensive that Wikipedia lists nearly 400 titles in the category, Movies About Time Travel. In franchises like, Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Back to the Future, characters climb into some wild vehicle to blast into the past or spin into the future. Once the characters have traveled through time, they grapple with what happens if you change the past or present based on information from the future, which is where time travel stories intersect with the idea of parallel universes or alternate timelines. Although many people are fascinated by the idea of changing the past or seeing the future before it's due, no person has ever demonstrated the kind of back-and-forth time travel seen in science fiction, or proposed a method of sending a person through significant periods of time that wouldn't destroy them on the way. And, as physicist Stephen Hawking pointed out in his book, Black Holes and Baby Universes, Bantam, 1994, the best evidence we have that time travel is not possible, and never will be, is that we have not been invaded by hordes of tourists from the future. Science does support some amount of time bending, though. For example, physicist Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity proposes that time is an illusion that moves relative to an observer. An observer traveling near the speed of light will experience time, with all its after effects, boredom, aging, etc., much more slowly than an observer at rest. That's why astronaut Scott Kelly aged ever so slightly less over the course of a year in orbit than his twin brother who stayed here on Earth. Special relativity and time travel to the near future. Albert Einstein developed his theory of special relativity in 1905. Along with his later expansion, the theory of general relativity, it has become one of the foundational tenets of modern physics. Special relativity describes the relationship between space and time for objects moving at constant speeds in a straight line. The short version of the theory is deceptively simple. First, all things are measured in relation to something else. That is to say, there is no absolute frame of reference. Second, the speed of light is constant. It stays the same no matter what, and no matter where it's measured from. And third, Nothing can go faster than the speed of light. From those simple tenets unfolds actual, real-life time travel. An observer traveling at high velocity will experience time at a slower rate than an observer who isn't speeding through space. While we don't accelerate humans to near light speed, we do send them swinging around the planet at 17,500 miles per hour, 28,160 kilometers per hour, aboard the International Space Station. Astronaut Scott Kelly was born after his twin brother, and fellow astronaut, Mark Kelly. Scott Kelly spent 520 days in orbit, while Mark logged 54 days in space. The difference in the speed at which they experienced time over the course of their lifetimes has actually widened the age gap between the two men. So, where, as, I used to be just six minutes older, now I am six minutes and five milliseconds older. Mark Kelly said in a panel discussion on July 12, 2020, Space.com previously reported. Now I've got that over his head. 
Can wormholes take us back in time? General relativity might also provide scenarios that could allow travelers to go back in time, according to NASA. But the physical reality of those time travel methods are no piece of cake. Wormholes are theoretical tunnels through the fabric of space-time that could connect different moments or locations in reality to others. Also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges or white holes, as opposed to black holes, speculation about wormholes abounds. But despite taking up a lot of space, or space-time, in science fiction, no wormholes of any kind have been identified in real life. The whole thing is very hypothetical at this point. Stephen Shu, a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Oregon, told Space.com sister site Live Science. No one thinks we're going to find a wormhole anytime soon. Besides the absence of identifiable wormholes, Another obstacle in the way of wormhole time travel is their hypothetical size. Primordial wormholes are predicted to be infinitesimally small, about 10 to the power of minus 34 inches, 10 to the power of minus 33 centimeters, at the mouth of the tunnel. As the universe expands, it's possible that wormholes could stretch along with it, but other problems take hold. Even hypothetical wormholes are expected to be extremely unstable. Shu said, blinking in and out of existence before anything could travel through them. You would need some very exotic type of matter in order to stabilize a wormhole, Shu added, and it's not clear whether such matter exists in the universe. And now we reach the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Out of this world.